Guys, so while I'm still out here at the show, let's take a look at this enormous Cherokee Limited Park model. This thing is absolutely huge. And what's interesting is it has a rear drop frame section down there. So it's gonna be kind of cool to see what's inside of this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. First of all, take a look at this thing. This thing is huge. It's got three slides on this side and they're kind of awkwardly shaped. You have this really short slide, you kind of have this average slide, and then you have this really narrow tall slide. But let's take a look at the numbers on this because I'm very curious. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,230 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 2,528 pounds. This, in my opinion, is something you'd really only want to tow behind a dually. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, but with the height of this, as well as the weight, it's definitely something you want as much sway stability to control as possible. You want something that's going to have as much traction on the ground to prevent this thing from swaying if you hit a heavy crosswind or when a truck passes by you. But this is simply a huge, huge setup. You can see all your connection points here, your outside shower, you have all sorts of stuff here. Plus you have the back of your furnace, you have the back of your hot water heater, and you have your black tank flush, your cable, and your city, and all your connections here. This is rated for 50 amps. Underneath it rides on a 12 inch I-beam frame. It has an eight inch drop frame section way down there that you may or may not be able to see. But I'm gonna be really interested to see what the inside of this specific travel trailer looks like. And all the slides on this unit are rack and pinion slides. This is a stick and tin unit, so this is a wood framed with aluminum sided unit. All right, so we're going up the Moride step above step system into this 39CA Cherokee. Okay, so this area right here is kind of common to travel trailers. I like how they put this stone little area here wrapping around the TV. It looks really nice and homey. You have a nice little love seat here, good size booth dinette here, and it's a wraparound, so that's nice. You have a nice residential style refrigerator here, nice backsplash. The kitchen, again, very indicative of your traditional travel trailer, plus a huge pantry area right here. Coming back this way, you have a bunkhouse right here that you step down to. It has its own bathroom, shower, and sink. So that's really cool. And its own entry exit. This is a nice little second bedroom. This really is a second bedroom. I mean, you can convert that into a bed. You can place your TV up here. This is its own slide. The ceiling height in here is probably six and a half feet tall. It has its own private door. And it has a door that separates it from the bathroom as well. So that's cool. This is its own little bathroom bunk area. But when you come back in and you swing a right, you can go up these stairs into the second floor. Now this is kind of cool. Looks like it's about three feet tall and it is absolutely a cool little bunk area. So if you want to crawl inside here just to see what it looks like. You have cabinets, you have storage, and this is a good height. Like I said, this is about three feet tall, so it's not super short like you might have seen on some others. This is definitely something that you could fit into even as an adult. You wouldn't be able to stand up in it, but you could fit in it. So that's really cool. So coming back down the stairs, that's kind of cool. They've actually padded this part right here, and you have a grab bar on this side and right there. Now heading this way towards the front, Let's go into the bathroom first. It's got a good size bathroom. Nice size shower stall. You have a mirror storage here as well as a mirror and storage here. Plus you have your sink, some storage on each side, cabinet underneath and a foot flush toilet. Nice window above, very tall ceiling height in here. You really don't even need to measure it because it's so tall. And coming to the back of this unit, to the master bedroom, it is a queen size bed. It really doesn't look like you could fit anything larger than a queen, simply because you're kind of limited by the narrowness of this specific slide. You have some storage up here, you have more storage over here, and then you have some really big storage here. But I do not see a place for a washer and dryer in this unit. You have some drawers here. Nothing here is really deep enough to permit a washer and dryer, unless it goes in here. 
Uh, it says that there's a dryer connection there, but I don't see your water connection. So, seems like you could put a dryer in here, you just can't put a washer in here. So that's kind of interesting. But it is a really cool floor plan, for sure. Working our way back here to the living room area. Again, this is a really cool floor plan. It's definitely the kind of travel trailer that you would set up at a destination and kind of keep it there. I wouldn't recommend towing these things all over the country just because of the excessive weight. And if you look at the chassis, the suspension, things like that, it's not really designed to be towed from multiple places. You kind of put this in a place and leave it there. Love the big screen door. You could build a nice deck and attach it to the side here and have a good patio area. Overall, this is really nice. It has a nice size kitchen, nice size refrigerator, lots of storage, and a place for a lot of people. So if we wanted to count how many people you could sleep in here, you could probably sleep four kids up top, plus maybe two adults down there. So that's six, two here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two more in the bedroom, 11, 12. So you could practically sleep 12 people inside of this unit. And the fact that it has a bathroom here and a bathroom in the back means that people generally won't be fighting that much for a place to use the bathroom or take a shower. So that's really nice. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be out here for a while longer. I'm trying to find unique floor plans that I haven't shown before. This is definitely one of those. It's probably the only floor plan like this that I've seen. And it's definitely one that if you're interested in having a lot of privacy for different people that might come camping with you, this would give you that. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.